morning and welcome back. I'm Falonir and this is my Learn to Leoran Board 2 series where I teach you how to do things inside Leoran Board. In the last video we touched on a couple different variables including arrays and we're going to go more in depth on that now. As I mentioned in that video, arrays are ways to store information kind of like a list and we chose the example shopping list so you can store you know milk eggs beef butter whatever it's just a list of information that leoran board holds that you can reference with other commands let's show you how it works now that we're inside leoran board 2 let's open up our button and right here we have test array so if we get into this we see create array and then multiple different array inserts now you cannot put information into an array until the array exists you have to create it first so we hit create array and then we have array insert and we have five different things that we're inserting. You can choose specific positions to insert information into the list or you can choose to place it either at the top or at the bottom. If you want it to be at the top of the list, you would put it at position top. If you want to be at the bottom of the list, you would put it position zero. So now what we can do is hit save, hit save, open up our stream deck, hit test array, and then go into our variable finder or the variable viewer. This is ID 92, so we can go into this. Right here at the bottom, we have a, another way to access the variable viewer. We'll do ID 92. Open this up. We have five things in the array. We have first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Fifth is the top, first is the bottom. It's, it's read a little bit backwards. And in fact, we can show this off one more time. If we hit done, if we copy this, and hit seventh, hit save, hit save, go into our variable viewfinder, ID 92, and then open this up. <laughs> We're gonna show this off. It's going to repeat everything over again. So it's gonna add another instance of first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, and then it's gonna add the seventh because the, all the commands are still there. Um, but as you can see here, seventh, because we put it at position zero is the bottom of the list and then fifth is the top of the list so it doesn't matter what's in here you can put it into specific numbers or the top or bottom using those numbers and to think of it this way this is zero this is one this is two so on and so forth now once you have information inside your array you can do things with it so let's open another button right here and we can do array size and we can get how big it is so we're going to look at test array and we're going to call this array size. If we can spell it correctly. Array size. Save. This is, you know, let's do this. Let's do a pop up instead. Give me a pop up message and I want the message to tell me what array underscore size is. And remember, when we're using our variables, if we're using a variable in a white box that doesn't say variable, we have to wrap it. So backslashes and dollar signs will give us the information held in the variable and not just the letters that the variable are made out of. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get the size of test array and then we're gonna get a pop-up message that tells us how big it is. So we'll hit save. There's our new button right there. So we'll click it and it's undefined. Now, the reason that it's undefined is because that array does not exist in that button. Remember it exists in this button, inside button ID number 92. So let's reference ID.92. And this talks a little, this goes a little bit more into the button variables that I was talking about in our very first video. So if you need to know more about that, check out the first video. ID92 dot test array. So test array is what we're looking for. This is where it is. So we'll hit save, hit save, pull that up. The size is 11. We can double check that by going into our viewfinder in ID92. It is 11, and that's because it has all these extra things in it. So if we deleted some of these duplicates, we would have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and seventh, because I added an extra one right there. So clicking this again will give us a pop-up of six. And we can use the information for how big this array is for all kinds of different things, whether it's repeat commands to do something a certain number of times, with that information, we can set variables to be things that are located inside the array. So instead of doing array get size, we can do set local variable. We can do variable one. And what we're looking for is ID 92 
dot test array. And we're going to look for specific information in test array. Now, what we can do is we can use a number inside brackets next to the array to pull information from the list. Now, if I do zero, it's going to give us whatever's at the bottom of that list. If I do any particular number, it's going to tell me anything in that specific location in the list. And we can even use variables there instead of numbers. So to show you, BAR1. So we know that from our list, seventh thing should be the th what's at the bottom of that list. So if we hit save, hit save, and pull this up, seventh thing, the string, is what's there. So that's what's going to relay into this pop-up message. And we can go one step further. And we're going to do var2. This is going to look a little weird, uh, but var2 equals three. And instead, right here, we're going to use var2 instead of a number. Now, remember that when we're in the yellow boxes, we don't wrap our variables. And if you try to, it should even give you a pop up saying, hey, you can't do that. There we go. So it says that inserts are not allowed in yellow boxes. Just type it out. So what this is going to do is it's going to look in ID 92 for the array called test array. And it's going to give us the item in the list at position number three and it's going to save it as variable one and then we can recall that information by using the pop-up message you can use twitch chat message to do the exact same thing as far as making sure that information is pulling right so we hit double save to make sure everything's saved there we go and that's third thing so test array seventh is at position zero first is at position one second is at position two and third is at position three so it gave us that information so this is um, how you can create arrays, store information in those arrays, and then retrieve information as well. So there's a couple other things you can do with arrays. This is incredibly basic. If this helped you, oh. if this helped you learn a little bit more about arrays, please feel free to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, throw some comments. If you have more questions about arrays, anything I can help you out with. Otherwise, hop into my Twitch stream. I stream three days a week and I do all kinds of really cool stuff with Leon Board on my streams. If you want to see more videos, check my playlist up here where I go over more concepts for Leon Board 2. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.